When you look at the piano, you'll see that there are two different colors of keys. We have the white keys, and then we have the black keys. And the black keys come in groups. So we have groups of three black keys, one, two, three. And then we also have groups of two black keys, one, two. And so you can see that on your worksheet as well. Up here, it says groups of three, and then groups of two, one, two, group of three, and a group of two. So what I want you to do is pause the video and with your parent or whoever's helping you, see if you can find the groups of threes and twos on your piano. If you already have them printed and cut out, you can use these little cards to mark the threes and the twos. So for example, I have a two and I would place that and you can place it behind the key or on top of a group of two. So pause the video, find some groups of threes and twos, and then come right back. All right, so how was that? Pretty easy or was it a little tricky? Either way, I want you to notice something. When you look at your paper, you'll see that there's a little star right here. So on your paper, you'll see there's a little star and it says you get to collect a star if you found the groups of two and three black keys on your piano. So if you did that, then you're going to turn to the back of your piano book and there is a page full of stars. So you get to color in your first star if you found the groups of twos and threes. And if you didn't pause the video and you didn't do it, then you better pause the video now so that you can get your star, all right? So you're gonna color it in. These stars over here on the side are for special challenges. So whenever you see a star, just a regular one, color in any of these on this side. And then this column is for special challenges. Okay, so let's go back to the twos and threes. And there's something fun with the groups of twos and threes. They make a pattern. Did you discover it when you were doing, when you were finding them on the piano? If not, that's okay, but let's see if we can discover it together. So I already have a group of two marked here. Let's find a group of three next. So let's do the one right next to it. So is this a group of three or a group of two? It's a group of three, so I'm gonna place the three right on top. So we have two, three. What comes next? Is this a group of two or a group of three? It's a group of two, so I'm gonna place the two. And then what comes next? Is it two or three? It's a three. Are you starting to see the pattern? We have two, three, two, three. What do you think's gonna come next? A group of two, one, two. And we'll do one more, which is going to be a three, a group of three, one, two, three. So the pattern of the black keys is two, then three, then two, then three, all the way across the piano, except for one oddball black key. So down here on this side of the piano, we have a single black key all by itself. Other than that, it's two, three, two, three, all across the piano. So what you're going to do next is on the bottom of your worksheet, you're going to write whether it's a group of three black keys or if it's a group of two black keys. So you can write the number either below or above the groups of black keys. 